the open sea. No two days are the same. Change is constant. New challenges emerge. The sea is a hard taskmaster. And extraordinary is every day. The Indian Navy responds swiftly, charting new horizons, finding new solutions, being extraordinary every ordinary day. For the Indian Navy, a combat-ready, credible and cohesive force, it is always business unusual. When we were tested, we refused to let this journey end, that we did not turn back, nor did we falter. We carried forth seafaring to make the seas safer for India and the world. Fifty years ago, in the year 1971, the Navy, along with the Army and the Air Force, fought a decisive war on two fronts. Liberating Bangladesh, securing our borders decisively. Today, as the flame of victory travels the land, we celebrate the occasion as Svarnam Vijay Varsh. The Prime Minister flagged off the flame, a symbol of the supreme sacrifice of our gallant men and the bonds of brotherhood forged with the people of Bangladesh. Commemorating those unusual times and celebrating with them that decisive victory on Bangladesh Liberation Day, INS Sumedha and INS Kulish made a port call at the historic Mongla port. Business unusual is the way of the Navy. A blue water Navy, one of the largest in the world, tasked with ensuring national security and interests. Strengthening international cooperation and building bridges of friendship, protecting and promoting maritime security, undertaking search and rescue operations, delivering humanitarian aid, disaster relief, operating from below, on the surface, in the air and from space. COVID-19 was a black swan. The second wave of the pandemic made 2021 a Sisyphean year for all humanity. The challenge unprecedented. The rule book inadequate. Yet, for the Navy, it was just another day. Business unusual. Writing new protocols, engineers became inventors. 
developing oxygen plants on wheels. Designing new oxygen recycling systems in-house. Repairing oxygen plants that boosted production in states. Extending Saka through Operation Samudra Setu to ship liquid oxygen and supplies for our citizens. The Oxygen Express boosted this effort. Extending a hand of friendship through supplies to neighbours. Supporting civil administration. Vaccinating frontline defence personnel on a war footing. Looking outwards when the natural tendency is to look inwards. Sagar, the Prime Minister's vision for security and growth for all in the IOR region steamed ahead. Food aid, disaster relief, humanitarian assistance to the peoples of Madagascar, Comoros, Cambodia and Vietnam. 2021 became a year of service for the Navy. Helping our friends and countrymen the new normal. Multiple missions responded to SOSs from Cyclone Tokte. Hundreds of lives saved across multiple search and rescue operations. Diving and flood relief teams in Odisha and West Bengal asserted the Navy's benign influence in Cyclone Yas. The Indian Navy sprang into action when an Indonesian submarine went missing. One of a select band of nations to possess niche capability to deploy a deep submergence rescue vehicle DSRV. India mobilized DSRV at a very short notice. Systems and equipment failed on the MV Nayan, a cargo ship in the Gulf of Oman. Engineers from INS Dalmar responded, restored functionality in a matter of hours. The merchant vessel Express Pearl caught fire off the coast of Sri Lanka. Responding swiftly, the Navy deployed INS Sarvekshak to assist with rescue operations. Later, survey motorboats and integral sensors were also used to locate the vessel's sunken containers. An unusual year and an unusual global environment provided many opportunities for new partnerships and the reinforcement of old ones. Varuna 2021 witnessed great scope and participation of both the navies of India and France. INS Pralay docked in Abu Dhabi for Navdex and IDEX 2. Corpat provided opportunities for proactive patrolling to India and Indonesia and interoperability between the navies of India and Thailand. UNAV-4 Joint Naval Exercise an opportunity for aligning interests in counter-piracy and security. Passage exercises were conducted with the US and with the Royal Navy in the Bay of Bengal. The navies of the IOR littoral participated in the 7th Indian Ocean Naval Symposium at La Reunion. 
the Malabar Naval Exercises of Guam Enhanced relations between the US, Japan, Australia and India The Tri-Service Exercise Konkan Shakti showcased maritime cooperation between India and the UK, ensuring strategic stability and a positive climate at sea. The Navy's approach to business unusual was underlined again through India's determined march towards self-reliance or Atmanirbharta and indigenous shipbuilding. The sea trials of IAC Vikrant are initial steps towards the Sea Carriers Commissioning next year in 2022. The first indigenous aircraft carrier takes India into select company of nations with this niche capability. Vikrant will join INS Vikramaditya patrolling the seas in the Indian Ocean region and all areas of interest and boosting the nation's operational edge. INS Karanj The third Calvary class submarine was commissioned at Naval Dockyard Mumbai and will be part of the Western Naval Command's submarine fleet. INS Vela, the fourth Calvary class diesel attack submarines got commissioned. Its key role is to deny sea access to the adversary. The commissioning of stealth guided missile destroyer INS Vishakapatnam added teeth to the Indian Navy. The launch of Himgiri, the first of the ships produced under Project 17A, is a significant milestone. Project 17A will build ships with enhanced stealth features, advanced indigenous weapons and sensors, bolstering the Navy's capability greatly. The Navy's ability to search and rescue those in need was enhanced with the commissioning of INAS-323 the new indigenous ALH Mark III helicopter. As key steps towards self-reliance, the NIIO signed MOUs with deep tech startups and transferred nation-building innovations to MSMEs. They say, old ships never die. It is in their immortality that warships derive their strength. The curtain fell on a 41-year career when the legendary INS Rajput was decommissioned. The first Indian naval ship to be affiliated with an Indian Army Regiment, the Rajput Regiment, her legacy as a fine example of joint manship will live on. Naval aviation adds punch to the Indian Navy. From the early days of the first sea land aircraft to the deployment of unarmed Sea Guardian drones. Naval aviation projects power, enhances the striking range and extends the surveillance reach of the fleet. Today, several recent naval projects dovetail the growth of its aviation wing with future expansion plans. The presentation of the President's Colour to Naval Aviation is recognition for the key role it has played for nearly seven decades. Twenty twenty one 2021 ushered in the 75th year of India's independence. The Navy actively celebrated this occasion, commemorated as Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsav, along with our fellow countrymen. 
Lothal in Gujarat will soon be home to the National Maritime Heritage Complex with the Navy's full support and involvement. This is to amplify maritime consciousness. For 75 years, the Indian Navy, serving in the world's center of gravity, strategically placed to advance the dreams of a new aspirational India, seeking to bolster her desire to be a trusted regional partner and a powerhouse of a bright economic future has remained committed to the nation and her future. Making friends, resisting foes, joining the nation in the pursuit of our strategic aims. Combat ready, credible and cohesive. For the Indian Navy, come what may, it is business unusual.